absolute ghoulest of all. Ooh, I can't. Oh, you caught me in the middle of complimenting Ghosty. Ooh, you are. You are the most fabulous ooh, and the most beautiful. It's important to compliment your ghost once in a while. It helps them feel seen. Speaking of ghosts, so not ghoul is chock full of ghosts. Are they friendly? No idea. Got my attention. Oh. Everybody, take a seat. Uh, Doug, you can sit right next to me. Ooh, I'll, I'll be close by too. <laughs> Let's get ghosted. Oh, oh, do you know what this is? This is a Chinese altar to the ancestors. And oh, I think that we have our starring ghoul right here. But she looks scared, storyteller. Yeah, she kind of does. Uh, I thought that the ghosts are not scared of anything. They are the ones who do the scary. Well, I guess we're just gonna find out if she's scared and why. Oh. Mimi, that's her name. Hi, Mimi. Mimi doesn't look like the other ghosts, but she wishes she did. Now, why would she wish that? She is adorable. Her big fluffy hair and that updo and that gown is fabulous. And look at that. She has a gorgeous, very confident looking white cat. Should be black. You know, which I said, not everything has to be in 50 shades of black hole. Yes, it does. It's her first day haunting a new school. Oh, ghoul school. But all Mimi has to wear are old Chinese gowns from her great, 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 great ghost grandmother whose old fashioned clothes aren't that great. What? Are you kidding me, Mimi? This is amazing looking. So stylish. Oh, I just think that Mimi does not appreciate all that she has going on. Good Chinese girl ghosts must cover their faces with their hair, says Baba, her father. Good Chinese girl ghosts must stick out their tongues, says Ye Ye, who is Baba's father, which means that if Baba's her father and Ye Ye is Baba's father, that's her grandfather. Good Chinese girl ghosts must wear gowns that hang past their feet, says Zheng Zufu, who is Ye Ye's father, which means it's her great grandfather, all the ancestors. And you may not arrive late to school like those American ghosts. But Mimi is American, Chinese American. And what do her ancestors know about fashion? I mean, they're not from this century. She rolls her eyes, so not ghoul. Bu so, her ancestors say, nodding with approval, not bad. Approving of what she's wearing. Ooh, but the tongue out suggests that she does not approve. But show the whites of your eyes more. Remember, what scares a kitten does not scare the cat. That sounds like an ancient Chinese proverb. When Mimi passes through the classroom walls, of course, because she's a ghost, she goes through the walls. <laughs> Who needs doors at ghoul school? She gasps. <gasps> the ghoul mates are rattling matching chains, you guys. Totally fearsome. A shroud of ghouls glance over. Mimi whoop, gulps. With a clink of her sparkly chains, Lisette curls her lip. That outfit couldn't scare a scaredy cat. The older ghouls titter like this as they glide away. And Mimi is glad no one can see her face because she has a frown that I hope she can turn upside down. Meanwhile, meow, the cat is giving the ghouls serious side eye. At home, she pleads with her ancestors, may I please wear something more ghoul? I want to look horrifying, not horrible. Boo neng, says Baba, which means you cannot. Boo shing, says Ye Ye, which means you cannot. 
Poo ke yi, says Zhang Zufu, which also means you cannot. Wow, that's a lot of different phrases for you cannot. And go Chinese girl ghosts are not permitted to show their feelings. Cannot, cannot, cannot. A scream builds inside her, but she holds it in. Because Mimi has, bling, an idea. The next morning, Mimi clears her throat. <clears throat> I can't moan today, she says in a sweet voice. Maybe I shouldn't haunt school. She does seem a little opaque, says Zheng Zufu. She did finish her Rome work, says Ye Ye. All right, better not risk being noticed by the living, says Baba. As the proverb goes, ah, those proverbs, ghosts who show themselves must be ready to be seen. If Mimi hears one more Chinese ghost proverb, she will shriek. And not for extra credit, because in ghoul school, shrieking is extra credit. For her plan to work, though, she must hurry before her ancestors, these guys who are always around, find out. What is she up to? Only the kitty cat knows. Mimi can't wait to blend in at school. Blending in? It's overrated as far as I'm concerned, but... She wants what she wants. She slips off the old gown, and leaves it there under the watchful eye of her guardian cat, and floats tall in her sheet made of spirit money. Good morning, Mimi moans confidently. The others stare. <gasps> that does not look good. She shakes her paper chains, but they make no sound, and then her outfit begins to fall apart, soggy from the river water in her hair. Why is there river water in her hair? Okay. Ah! Oh, sneer. Ah, pointing, pointing, laughing. <laughs> Pray tell, where did you find that outfit? Asked Lisette. Ghosts are us, scare and save. <laughs> Float for less. <laughs> Those are perfectly good stores. Ooh. Ghosty shops there. Okay, you guys, or you ghouls. The ghoul mates screech with laughter, and Mimi's gray heart splits in two. She rushes out, raining tears all the way home. In the rafters, Mimi hides in the cobwebbiest corner, but she's not alone for long. Mimi? Baba, Ye Ye, and Zeng Zufu's jaws scrape the attic floor. Her paper sheet? Her ancestors say nothing. Oh, that is so bad when they say nothing. Which can only mean... She has offended them deeply. Whoa. Sometimes the silent treatment is the scariest of all. The following day, Mimi drags herself back to school. And to her horror, a nauseating sight greets her. The most popular ghost saw her look. Yeah, you go, go. Oh, yeah, school, yes. What? What happened? Mimi left the gown. Her great, 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 great ghost godmother's Great, 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 great grandmother. Okay, you know who I mean. Left that gown back in the chair with the guardian cat. Yes, there, there. Left it there. Ran home crying. And look who picked it up. Hey, that's my gown and my hairstyle. Mimi's throat aches. I was curious who wears it better. Now we know. And Lisette strikes a pose. Woohoo! Yeah! Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But it doesn't belong to you, 
Mimi whispers. She thinks of all the ghost grandmothers and ghost grand aunts who wore the gown before her. Her heart burns whiter than white. She tries to bite her tongue, but she doesn't try that hard. Mimi is tired of being a good Chinese girl ghost, and you know something's about to happen. She's about to blow. <gasps> you can change your clothes, but your clothes can't change you. And her tongue is like that, and her eyes are burning black, and her hair's flying up, and all her ghostly auras are just zapping all over the place. And the girl who took her gown is terrified. Mimi's ancestors, who floated in secretly to check on her, glow with pride. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ah, yes, true change happens from within, says Baba. She heard that wise proverb from me, says Zheng Zufu. It was I who taught her that one, says Ye Ye. Actually, says Baba, those words came from Mimi's heart. And they are as proud now to make up for all that disappointment from before. Mimi doesn't look like the other ghost, and she has never felt this spectacular before. Lisette turns pale as her friends surround Mimi instead. You really scared up a storm in that old garment, she says. These beautiful gowns came from my great, 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 great ghost grandmother. That's her. Yes, that's who I meant, says Mimi, who was pretty great. And guess what? You're not wearing it better. You're wearing it wrong. Oh, ghost burn. All eyes are on Lisette as she squirms in the crooked gown. I'm so bored of sheets, she wails. That's no excuse for ghastly manners, Mimi turns to her new ghoul friends. Let's roam. Uh-uh. Lisette gasps. Wait, don't ghost me. I I'm sorry. No more mean-spiritedness, I promise. Truce? Will she accept? Mimi shimmers with hope. Can mean ghouls change? No! Some can't, but can others change? There's only one way to find out. <gasps> she reaches out and shakes Lisette's hand. Truce, if you really like my gown, you can borrow it. Just let me show you how it's tied. Oh, I think we're beginning to see the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Heart back together again. Gray heart beating happily. Boom, 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 boom. Or maybe it's more like boo, 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 boo. It isn't long before Mimi and her ghoul mates model all kinds of haunt couture. And by the day of the annual open house, the only thing in fashion is school spirit. And check it out. It is the night of the open haunted house. And look who are friends. And look who's happy watching everything happen. And everybody's just feeling comfortable. And she's proud to wear her great, 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 great ghost grandmother's dress. It's like I always say, you've got to creep it real. You actually got the moral of the story? You don't get to be witch and famous like me, relying on witchful thinking. Okay. If the broom fits, fly it. Are these old witch proverbs? I always say the spooky to happiness is confidence and a true belief in yourself. Are you speaking in puns now? Confidence makes you irresistible. Irresistible. That's pun number two now. And if you've got it, haunt it. That just really happened, right? I think we've all just experienced 
a paranormal event. Ooh.